No communication begins today with a recent past, a current, and what's coming up in the future. Welcome back to the channel, Libra. Let's get started with your spiritual reading on somebody who is in no communication at this time with you, or you have st struck this particular relationship with no communication. Second shuffle now. The third for no communication, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Clear and decisive messages for our Libran. Welcome back to the channel. First thought, please, in the recent past. The full card in the recent past, making a decision for a new beginning. That's Aries, or you're dealing with an Aries. No communication, please. Thank you. We have a second card. The strength card, Leo. Could be dealing with a Leo, or you needed extra strength like Tylenol in the recent past. I feel like you really had to be strong. I'm getting an essence from these two cards, even by choosing a new beginning or disconnecting from this person. A big heap of that inner strength needed to be called in or recalling your power back. Also the hermit. Hermit to the ace of pentacles is what I have at the bottom of the deck. Uh, some of you some of you had a reconciliation with this person. There was um, a rehash, talking again. Maybe it felt good for a little time with this Ace of Pentacles. In the recent past, as it's already occurred, it's earth energy. So something was brought down and grounded again once in your life. Could be also a Capricorn. And I'm picking up a Taurus. Um, for some of you who did speak to them again, there was a little glimmer of that old spark. Okay, it's not going to resonate for everybody. Uh, pick up your messages as they come. Obviously, today, this morning. Uh, there was a little spark that you were reminded of, okay? But I feel like it was mutual, this hermiting. Both people decided to hermit again, and it's Virgo energy. You could have Virgo in your chart somewhere. Let's do the split. The Libra side is three of pentacles. You could have been willing to work through this because it's collaboration at its best. Uh, also a king of wands. We have an Aries Leo <laughs> Sagittarius. It almost slipped there, excuse me. Aries Leo Sagittarian. Okay, we have a little bit of, um, what I see here is you're either dealing with an Aries, okay, uh, your opposite sign technically, and then we also have a little bit of like fire and earth combination, king of wands to the ace of pentacles. If they offered you something too in the no communication reading so far, I feel like the offer seemed tantalizing at first, but there was a lot of growth you experienced as you went on, maybe even clarifying growth that you did on your own. This hermit card is really interesting, Libras. One card wants to drop here too, the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles wants to be here for current. I'm going to keep that in the reading, okay? I'm going to keep it here because I feel like that's a sign. Um, your hermiting season was fruitful. I'm getting like a yes, a certain yes with this. You did a lot of growing. Um, I also feel like this was evident in certain things that you said, maybe to family. People watched you grow too in this hermit. Could be a Virgo Venus placement or Virgo rising. Somebody wants to give back to you today. Let's check out that Six of Pentacles. Show me Six of Pentacles, please, in the no communication. We have an active Six of Pentacles. What is this? And I want to show you something to you guys. Before I sat down for no calm today, I also had a Six of Pentacles for my cue cards from a completely different deck. And that one wanted to fall out. So let's see what's going on here. Six of Pentacles, please show me the Six of Pentacles. Show me the Six of Pentacles, please. For Libra, Taurus, energy, Taurus sun. Okay, Six of Pentacles, what's this in the current? Who's trying to come in here and give our Libra something? Two of Pentacles, maybe another earth sign, okay? As a sign of this, I feel like it's hard to juggle you now with current events going on in this person's life. I feel a busyness, okay, or balancing something difficult like a ten of wands, responsibilities, things that are going on in this person's life, relationships even. And then you're the hermit over here taking care of biz business wherever you're at. That's extremely earth. Both are earth. Virgo and then the two of pentacles is also earth. So what is this? Uh, what's this two of pentacles? These are difficult for me to do. <laughs> Eight of pentacles. Material plain things work. Working like a workhorse for this person. I feel like though 
what gets me is they still have love for you and no communication. The page of pentacles wants to flip to very small offer, very little time is what I'm feeling. Can you show me Libra? How does Libra feel about this person, please? And no communication. Thank you, the death card and it's upright. Death card is Scorpio. You feel like it's about time this is over for many of you and this isn't a current romance. No communication maybe was a past, past story. So just only take what's resonant for you today, okay? Um, you're over it. I feel like you closed the chapter and you are final on this. I feel like this is an older love story. Uh, maybe like within this last year, 2023, okay? You could be watching just if their sign appears today or just certain cards attach themselves to this person's attitude. Page of Pentacles, these are current cards. Let's clarify this too. I feel like they want to work on things in hindsight. Something is stopping them though, and I want to get to that too. I want to get to the meat of why they're not coming toward you. Page of Pentacles is a small offer. Can I see the Page of Pentacles? How do we explain that? And no communication. How do we explain that? Three cards, Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Devil, Capricorn. You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like what stops them is a toxic history between the two of you or not getting along over a completely, maybe both of you choose to differ on subjects. The Queen of Pentacles showing up though is like, no matter where they look, they still see a hint of like, how caring they wish it could still be, the relationship carrying these properties. I feel like they miss the caring attributes of this card, not so much the person that's attached to it today, but just a caring relationship because she is the queen of like taking care of the house, home, indoors, everything on a daily basis that involves routine and business. Um, and she keeps structure there. Capricorn, that's all Capricorn energy. Ace of Wands as well. A new beginning is warranted or wanted. But you feel like this is death. Or you're transforming yourself. I feel like this is a transforming of self card. It's not so much like the era that you, you don't miss the era of what this was and no communication. You're busy with a transformation. Let me check on Libra. Can I see the three next cards for Libra? Thank you. You have the Lovers. Could be walking into a new relationship or someone fancies you at this time. Gemini, page of swords. You could be learning new things or there's a page of swords in your life observing you and you know about it. There's receipts. Can I check on the page of swords? Is that Libra? What's that assignment or learning or the learning objective here? Thank you. The Empress, you could be busy on just working on yourself and your abundance, uh, creating wealth over this I think this next era, that's a big thing for you, is learning how to do things in many different valleys and being successful. Ten of Swords. Someone could, you could feel someone wronged you. We have a new Ten of Swords here today. All right. The moon is also here. You still feel somebody's hiding information. What's the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords that's your energy too and no communication? The Knight of Cups. Okay. Um... There's an, there's like a Knight of Cups here that feels like you're not taking their offer in the current. You could be like, what I'm getting here is you could have turned down a Knight of Cups, a new one. That's very specific. It's not going to affect everybody and no communication. But I feel like um they really did like you, Libra. This was a newer person that was coming to you. Knight of Cups to the Empress. Different situation, new person from this uh, no communication. Let me check on this small offer. What's the six of pentacles today? Can I see the six of pentacles in no communication? It's clarified by the chariot, the hierophant. Could be a Taurus, Cancer, King of Cups, Scorpio. This King of Cups is rather emotional lately. They are carrying a different type of King of Cups. The adamant feeling that I get in your reading is this King of Cups, not only do they want to hide at this time, I'm also getting hermit energy coming from them. They're thinking about a way to present a gift, an offer, the Six of Pentacles is giving back to you, or some form of generosity. They could definitely be an earth sign. There's way too many pentacles here today. A lot. Including um, including this card, Capricorn. 
including the Hierophant also. Definitely you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Taurus who's willing to commit when I see that card. No communication results. Can I, I'm going to just switch a deck here, Libra, so you get clear and accurate messages from a new 78 tarot card deck. Can I see the likely outcome, please? Likely outcome of no communication, the Ace of Cups, the Emperor. We have that here. I'm sorry, the Temperance card. I called out the Emperor. It's Temperance, Ace of Cups. And we have that, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Seems like love is the outcome and pouring of emotions. Temperance talks about patience, modesty, balance, and something being brought into patience too, or you having it. Sagittarius energy now included in the reading. You already have this though through like, I would say your vocal ability to have expressed to this person in the past. I think they want to take turns and do this toward you this time around Empress, because this is about like, for me, when I see temperance and no communication, it's about making amends as well. And definitely even a sorry for me as a reader. What's temperance? What's this Sagittarius energy? Thank you. Two of cups. Okay. Um, this is very difficult when I see the two of cups and no communication. And let's say you haven't heard from them in a long time. That's usually what happens here. The two of cups is carrying a torch for you. They almost don't know how to present it. And that's the way I'm feeling the reading this morning is they don't know in what slice of the cake it should be presented to you as. Can I see the two of cups, please? The queen of pentacles. Definitely caring energy for the relationship. Oh, excuse me. Caring for the relationship that it was. Okay, they did not forget you. They also love how super caring that I feel like you are naturally. Two queen of pentacles and a two of cups. See, that's what I don't understand is I feel a delay. I do feel a delay and maybe you do too. So that's what's frustrating for me as a reader today is I do see commitment energy. I do see that somebody wants to give back and work on things. But then I also see that they hold back from telling the queen of pentacles certain words here. Are they afraid? Oh, I see. They're the connection might be that they're afraid of ruining your genuine happiness. Okay, you could be these two cards leaving you be. And they're afraid they might make your situation worse if you're already happy. That's what I get here. What's the two of cups to the ace of cups? Thank you. One card, the knight of cups. Very loving feelings, kind, kindred, and also a cup of love for you. It's also admiration and loving. I also think here, if this is a newer situation and you don't have contact with the no com person, they can also be a new person coming in to show you extra love with the Knight of Cups. Okay, so let's say there hasn't been a lot of talking lately. They can be a water sign coming in for you or transversely acting as this card. Why the Knight of Cups? Why do we see this here today? The Five of Cups is the ending card. Somebody is in regret. I feel like you have this from multiple people, Libra. I don't think it's just a no comp person. I think there's just disappointing energies that also transversely disappoint you. Or it's like, it's almost like it's not what you're looking for. This is like a blatant read. It's so hard for me to do these. Okay, uh, relationship five of cups to the two of cups and we'll end it there. What's the five to the two of cups? Queen of swords, the death card, and the lovers. We have a lot of major arcana here. Just your last two are major arcanas, okay? A shift is going on in love right now. Um, you're understanding that a part of your ascension is also discerning the past from the current. Now, the ending cards I see here is someone loving is going to try to come toward a Libra energy. We got the Queen of Swords, no doubt. <laughs> okay, no diggity. She's here. So what I see here is um, maybe they like that song too because I keep hearing the melody also of that song there's two death cards somebody feels also that this ending was very abrupt also your transformation might be very abrupt as well if this is like a physical or a spiritual revolution within self 
they feel like it's unfair that they can't talk to you too. There's a lot of swords, even in the death card. Like there's a few inferences where a lot of disappointment is going on. Someone is crying in the death card. So they do want to talk to you. I feel like also in no communication, somebody could definitely have strengthened their feelings over time, their loving feelings. You have most um, the two most loving cards in today's tarot story, the lovers and the two of cups. If this person is a water sign, they truly mean it. They're truly regretful for the five of cups moment that they shared with you. I'm also getting like, um, this person may have lied to you continually, Libra, the five of cups. Okay, they could have been definitely like chronically lying over time. They weren't straight up when they could have just been transparent with you and you could have just forgiven them. But it was just a lot of that. And that's very specific. You'll know if it's for you. You'll feel a tingle in your Pringle. And we also have the Queen of Swords. I'm, I think this is you and I want to check it out because it is a Libra card. What's the Queen of Swords? What is the Queen of Swords feeling? This star, Aquarius. You are the star. You have been the star. Holding position too is what I'm holding my position is what I hear. That's for someone because I think you even said that the last few days. You don't want to strike a conversation with this person. Can I see the star too to Libra energy? What is that about? A new beginning. Okay, so something else. There's an addition to this read. You're coming in wanting a new beginning because that's where it's already been shown to you. It's prosperous. All of your signs have led you to this point. I agree with you actually in this reading. If you're starting a new beginning, it, it might already be with a new person. Can I see where this, um, how do I place this in the major and minor arcana? How do I explain the Ace of Wands? Thank you. So the Ace of Wands is explained by your true and pure happiness with the Ten of Cups. That's what it's about. It's not even about finding someone or maybe you're turning down offers, but it's about you being completely blissful and happy and whatever that draws back, even if it's nostalgic for some of you. That Ten of Cups, you could really be feeling that nostalgically too. Um, feeling little peaks and highs and lows of what it was once to be happy. And I think you actually felt it, this Ten of Cups, the last few days. It's like a preview of your Ten of Cups. So this Ace of Wands is like truly noted as something that you're following and that you've been gifted with, with signs, the Ace of Wands. One more card for Libra, please. No communication the seven of wands, and then you're guarded and not taking any new offers in or you're guarding your heart. Can I get, um, can I get one card for the seven of wands? What's the greatest and highest advice for the seven of wands, please? Seven of wands is protective, guarding yourself. You could also be guarding your energy from other people. What is that seven of wands and no communication? This one wants to jump. I'll take it. Thank you. Page of Cups and the star card. The star is out in your reading twice. It's here twice. I'm going to show you the first star card. It also goes to a watery energy at the end. You want to begin some new memories. The Page of Cups can be you today. It doesn't have to be the other person. You'd like to be imaginative with your life. You want to be experimental and try new things. Also with emotion, you don't want to forget where you come from. And the two star cards here, clarifying the Queen of Swords twice, okay? That's why I do it like this with different decks. Is to show yourself that it's okay to follow a path that's different and maybe see where that leads. Because I really feel like this Empress energy is something that's being seen in your 3D by other people and also yourself. There's growth here, essentially. It's just about believing in it and seeing the growth through bottom of the deck is the page of swords i want to follow through this energy yesterday i did a pre-shuffle reading for no communication king of pentacles there might be somebody of affluence too also in the story can i check on the page of swords can i see who libra's page of swords is in this last bit who's this person very curious i do feel for many of you it's someone who knows you Who's the Page of Swords, please? Page of Swords is air energy. Can you clarify the air energy in this reading? Angels, guides, and saints, can you show me the Page of Swords? 
Page of Swords, please. Energy of the Pages one card. And if that's it, that's all that was given to me. The Magician. Okay. It can be a Virgo or it can be someone with air energy like a Gemini. I feel like you have a whole nother person. There's two in this no communication. You have a past person who views you as the Queen of Pentacles. And you have an incoming Page of Swords that often thinks of you. And they actually are manifesting you to be their boyfriend or a girlfriend. This is a person who's actively manifesting you. I'm just, I'm nosy and I want to know that magician. Give me a second here. What's the magician card? Libra, sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Libra, Venus too, if Libra, Venus is watching. The magician is clarified by the five of pentacles, a lot of pentacles, ten. Okay, you could already know them too. Uh, could be someone from the past. The Five of Pentacles for me can be a past, okay, person. However, they're showing up as Earth, period. There's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Heavy, Page of Cups. Somebody who's also a water sign. They're expecting you to receive either a conversation, apology, or even breaking out from the cold and talking to you. This person has felt the Five of Pentacles. Or they don't know a lot about you at this time. 2112 is a reversed angel number two that I saw on the screen. And I feel like they, they have a connection to you. Some of you, the connection is like definitely through family, friends, or you met them through an event, maybe here where um, like a financial event even, maybe that you attended. And also I see here that um, they have connection maybe through social media. This page of swords, whenever I see it in a reading, is attached to applications and the and medias. Learning about you. Finding you somewhere. Okay, looks like I have two people that are showing up in today's no com. We have a past person that's showing up in these cards. Okay, Knight of Cups and seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles. And you had it twice. And then this new person sees you as a star and you have it twice over here. I don't know why you got the star card twice too in the energy of Aquarius and Pluto. It's interesting, but it's not that interesting. I feel like you just are very healed and you've come to a conclusion now in your life where you have to step up and do different things and make different moves. Who's? Can I get one more card on the Page of Swords? I'm just curious. All right, 50% um, energy of the three of wands. This person's waiting on you to talk to them. Three of wands, creating expansion. Again, this person really feels like they can be with you. They do. They see your star capability and who you truly are. So at the end of this reading, and I just want to conclude, make it clear cut for you. With two star cards and them waiting I guess to attract your attention or to get your attention. Can I see what they want? Let me move back. Excuse me, Libra. Or I'll use light seers. What do they want with the three of wands? What do they want with the three of wands? Can I see what they want? All right. Clarified with the seven of pentacles, the hanged man. Could be a Pisces. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's more earth. I'm drawing a lot of earth, particularly for today's story. And then we got a six of wands, which is, I think they watch you in the limelight or you're getting a recognition here from somewhere. It could even be accolades they know, okay, that you've received from work or that you're being celebrated at this time. They're looking to be a Leo even, because six of wands is Leo energy. And they want to rejoice in the type of success that you formed, which explains now the five of pentacles because they feel left out. Not a lot of information from your newer page of swords here. It's only going to ring true if you know this is your story. Because I read for, I think I pick up particular Libran people on our channel. Okay, and I also have a Pisces if that makes it a little more specific. No communication commences now. Thank you for being here today. Libra, as you go off and have a beautiful day. I will see you for our next week's videos. I want to thank you for your time and your due diligence. See you tomorrow and I hope you have a good day.